Well, that's it, Welkin. No sign of the enemy here, either. I searched all over. Looks like they've cleared out of Brule. That's good. We've finally recovered possession of our old homestead. Yeah. But if Isara saw it as it is now, I think she'd feel sad. I mean, look at it. Empty of all the people who lived here, the mill just barely standing. Huh? Look at that! Welkin? What is it? What do you see? Look! A lion's paw! Uh, is it... the same one? Mm-hmm. It's the flower that you planted that day. When we'd first met each other. It took root and grew in this soil. And now it's flourishing. Mm-hmm. Remember what you said? That there's more going on in this world than just people killing people? There are new lives all around. New things being born, even in the middle of war. I was right. And if I let myself get depressed, well, Isara wouldn't want that. Once this war's over and we come home, we'll just have to rebuild it. We'll rebuild all of it. Every last building. Yes, we will. And we'll show Martha's little boy. We'll show him the town where he was born. Yeah. The liberation of Brule was a success. Excellent work, soldiers. Lieutenant Gunther, do you have anything further to report? Yes, Captain. Through this op, I... We've found a new goal to strive towards. Very good. And Faldio, you're back from your leave. Feeling rested and ready? Uh, yes, Captain. I'm ready. Good. We're receiving reports of major shifts along the front lines. Imperial forces previously posted all over the country are gathering at one point. The Nagyar Plain in northeastern Gallia. Our forces are being directed there as well. Does that mean we're expecting a major clash at Nagyar, Captain? It's very probable. This battle is going to decide Gallia's fate one way or another. After a brief rest, the militia move out to Nagyar. I want all of you rested in the meantime. You're dismissed. So what you're saying is, the next battle is so critical, it could actually determine how the rest of the war goes. Yeah. Both for us and them. The opposing armies are assembling their forces at Nagyar. It'll be the biggest battle we've fought yet. The biggest battle of the war. That means more things we love will be destroyed. More people we care about will be taken away. There are some things we lose that never get returned. That's the world. Everything around us is in flux. The old Brule, the town we used to know, Isara. We've lost them forever. Welkin. But it's like you said, Alicia. We build new things as we lose the old. If we can win this battle at Nagyar, we can push the Empire all the way back to Northeast Gallia. If that happens, then victory will be right around the corner. <laughs> And once the war's over, the real work will start. We'll build a new mill plaza. In fact, we'll build a whole new town. Right. And I'll be there to help you. You know, it's funny. Whenever I talk to you, I feel like everything's going to be fine. Yeah? Well, you're the only reason I haven't completely lost it, Alicia. Really? Thank you, Welkin. Me too. I'm glad we were able to meet and work together. Hey, welcome.
broken? What is it? Once this war is all over, I have... There's something I want to tell you. Anything. Chapter 13, The Clash at Nagyar. After wresting it from the Empire's control, Squad 7 left Bruel for Nagyar, the stage for this war's grandest battle. Even as they traveled, an increasing number of soldiers streamed into both camps. Both sides braced to feel the brunt of the other's army in the fight for all of Gallia. General, as I've said a hundred times now, I strongly recommend a change of tactics. With the disparity in numbers, it's lunacy to send the Gallian forces on an all-out attack. We'd stand better chances centered around our defensive holdings, fending off advances. The enemy have gathered in one place for us. We can't let this chance slip by. If we win this one battle, we'll be able to kick those imps out of Gallia for good. General, we lack the manpower to break through an enemy force that large. If we're short on soldiers, why aren't you out drafting more farmhands for us? Do you honestly plan to let our countrymen die needlessly out there? When attack, if not now, Varad, we will win this battle. We must. We'll throw everything Gallia's got at them. A few casualties are going to be inevitable. <sighs> if you've got time to sit there fretting, go light a fire under those yokels of yours. Understood. I will do my best. Sorry, I'm late. We deploy him? We're still on standby. I'm figuring we'll get the order to move out a bit past noon. Gotcha! Is everybody ready to go? All set and waiting for the word. But it sure looks like the enemy's got us in numbers. They do. The invading front's nearly all here. This one's gonna be a major battle. I've made my peace with it and all, but... Seeing them all lined up out there is heavy. Guys, can I say something? Um, I grew up in an orphanage. I don't have a family, and I always thought I was alone. But Welkin showed me I was wrong. That I wasn't alone at all. Not anymore. The Sevens are... You guys are my family now. The squad's your family. Before a big battle like this, it's scary. I figure I feel just like all of you do. But when I think I'm here alongside my family, I feel strong enough to fight. Family, huh? My old folks are gone, and I got no siblings, but I bet this is what it's like. Of course, any siblings of mine would have grown up a lot better acting than you lot. Sounds odd to say it, but you're right. And I bet Isara's watching over us all. All right. Let's go do this. Yeah, let's go put holes in those tanks. Yeah, then let's all come back here together. We'll get through this fight and see Galia free again on the other side. <laughs> Your Grace, all troops have arrived at Nagyar and adopted combat positions. This time we'll crush their feeble army and see Your Grace to the doorstep of Randgris. Make it so. Selvaria, you have never failed me in your loyalties thus far. I exist because you exist, one aside the other. 
You go with my trust. Sir, your grace, you are too kind. I was a worthless wretch before you brought me into the light of your grace's company, estranged from my parents before I could know them, thrown into that research facility. The object of heinous experiments and deprived of human contact. But your grace took me from that place, raised me to be a human before a Valkyria. Then awaken the powers within you. I betrayed the trust you placed in me. No, Grace. Once I learned that the Valkyria's powers stir only when the body faces death. I didn't hesitate a moment. I would gladly pierce this breast again, even now. When you granted me the shield and the lance from the ruins, I became Valkyria only for you. Never until then had I thought to feel pride in the Valkyria's blood within me. Now is the time to show the world the power that blood holds. Go forth, Silvaria. Bring victory to my army. Yes, sir. Tanks at zero one five. Gallian forces approaching. Approximately two regiments. Silly fools. <laughs> now feel the power of the Valkyrie. This time we will win. <laughs>